nice, nice seeing you again. I mean, again, we, we meet again. Exactly, <laughs> cross country, <laughs> and we. You came from like what temperature today? It was 24 this morning snowing? in Buffalo, and snowing. It was bad. <laughs> it was drifting, and when they say winter hits. It came one day. It was like. It nice was, in the 40s, the next day, 10 yeah, inches of snow. It was 38 in uh, Charleston, where I was in South Carolina. So we're here in the San Diego winter. Which is, is, I'm good with this kind of winter. <laughs> this is my kind of winter. 80 degrees. We're like we're driving EV this, country. EV country, convertible country, and yes. perfect weather country. So All year round. No wonder that, everyone lives here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, look at, look at this place. It's beautiful. So the cost we of are living's a lot more than where you and I live. I know, so. I know. Well, which is hotels and place lately. Lately, but, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're in the 2018 Smart for Two Cabrio. Right. And starting this year, we're starting with this model. Smart decided to go full electric. No I'm, I'm shocked. You yeah. cannot buy. This is the only brand out there that, other than like Tesla. Well, it's 100% yeah. EV, and it I don't include. Right. I don't include Tesla. Well, yeah, but when they talk about like brands going to the electrification process, that means that they're going to put some electric electrification Major process, models, yeah. like hybrids or plug-in hybrids, but this is like, they're only going right. to sell electric cars. Well, which... the, whole, the whole difference is that 48 volt architecture, yeah. so in other words, you think of a 12 volt battery that's in your car, this is 48 volt architecture, which means you need that in order to run these battery operated cars. So when they're saying we're doing electrification, the truth on that really is. They're offering 48 volt architecture, which allows them to put more technology exactly. in the cars. Yeah. Well, this car is uh, celebrating uh, also the 10th anniversary here in the U.S. And when the first Smart came, it was a time when WAS was almost $5 a gallon here in California. Yeah. A lot of people got excited about it and then really disappointed about it. Yeah. Because the It's really small too. <laughs> well, not besides, I mean, that that's one point. I mean, when you are driving the car looking forward, it feels like a normal car, doesn't it? Right. From At least this, from the seats forward, you, it could be any car. You wouldn't even exactly. think. You would the, never. The thing is that when you turn around, this is the back of the car. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. And there's a little net back here if you want to store yeah. something. But, you, I mean, most of us women have bigger purses. I had to put it in the back of the truck. Either it's on the floor. So, anyway, this car has, like, a very specific use, obviously. It's for the mm -hmm. cities. It's right. for, like people who don't have to go really far, who like commute maybe 5, 10, 15 miles right. and in the city ideally because Most you're gonna need, you're gonna need to, to recharge it during the day. Right. It has a range about 60 to 65 obviously depending on how you drive like right. any other car. But it has like really good technology and being an electric car it doesn't have that transmission like in the right. first one, it pulled you and yeah. stopped you, it pulled you and stopped you. The it transmission was, was, was horrible. Yeah. And the seats were uncomfortable, and exactly. these seats are comfortable. There is no lumbar, so it doesn't get the lower and fixed lumbar approval. Yeah, okay. But the seats are comfortable. Yeah. And uh, the technology is nice, the materials are nice. Yeah. Uh, the car itself on the outside is bigger. It has like a completely new, for it's different sportier. look. It's exactly, sport. it's sportier and uh, new lights. It's got a huge base in the back. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is awesome. Yeah, it, it's a small, but I mean, it's 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 a, it's a smart car. I mean, it, that's what it's it was intended right. for, like really congested cities like London, Paris, Madrid, right. where there's Sao Paulo, places New to York. charge. New York yeah. City, there's no place to charge. I have a home in New York. I can't drag a cord across the street from my apartment building. Yeah. You know, so and there's no charging stations on in Manhattan because most of those parking spaces that are taken up by bikes. I know, but like some places like uh, Whole Foods, some stores are starting yes. to have them. Mm -hmm. And the, the benefit of this uh, this uh, the system in this car is that charges fast, like, like three hours, and you're set to go. Yeah, I was really surprised how quick the charge was, and that's on a level two charging yeah. too. So, so as we say, this is a convertible, and that the other cool thing about it is like that since the roof is completely flat, right? You can just like, well, I was gonna do it now, but like the cool, the cool thing is that you can do it while you're moving at any speed. Uh, Again, up to 80 miles an hour, because exactly, it goes 80 miles an hour. Like top speed, 80 miles an hour, 80 horsepower. Right. So you can open it in 12 seconds if you're counting, count. And it's like a two-step process. So there, it will stop there for the first section of it, like they call it like sunroof right. uh, uh, mode, I guess. And then if you push a second time, Check it opens down. the second part there, so you get like a little teeny roll bar. Yeah, there. the whole the whole back part is open now, and then obviously you can turn open the windows. Right. And there's like a third step even because you can take these bars out, right. and they store in the trunk. Store in the trunk, and it's like right. a true convertible, the only fully electric convertible in the world. Thanks. That's it. Nowhere else in the right. world. Turn and ahead. 
That to me is really unusual to think of. There's no other convertibles. You would think some other manufacturer. There's would have one in the mind of uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, that was the Roadster from way uh, way back. And that, and if you have one of those, he would consider that old technology. Yeah, completely. And, and in his mind, it's like having an iPhone three. Yeah, exactly. So. And like the new one is supposedly, supposedly coming in 2020, but... You won't see it by the, then. Exactly. He the doesn't three, have any facilities to build it. But that's a three, whole other story. The three was supposed to come, the Model 3 was supposed to come six months ago, and it's not coming anytime soon. So anyway, we'll right. see uh, any other time. But we're here to drive the, the Smart 4 for 2 Now, Smart is owned by Mercedes. Yeah, Daimler so, Group, yeah. So you are getting great technology, great safety. Safety, especially safety. When people see this little car, they, think, they, eh. they get afraid because they think it's not safe at all. It's completely safe. And it's about it, the size of a Mini, a regular exactly, standard yeah. Mini. And uh, I've seen the rollover video from the testing, the crash testing. And so this is the convertible. When you take this bar out and it's only the A-pillar and it lands on this column only, yeah. it will bounce back and like nothing, the, the, the cabin wouldn't compromise the safety of the persons inside. Right, so, so the cars are designed these days to give themselves up for the humans that are inside. Absolutely. One of the negatives I found with this vehicle is that the retail price is $28,000 with the $7,500 federal tax credit that brings you down to around $21,000. Once you add on the options, the vehicle we test drove was $32,000. Now, even with those $7,500 tax credit removed and your possible state tax credit or through your company, that's still a pretty pricey electric vehicle. We're uh, driving and it has a range again of about 60 to 65 and again like any other car Depends on how you drive it if you go really fast if you don't break it off the weather You are like climbing hills like so yeah. there are many factors to it But 60 to 65 miles is more than enough for like what the average driver in the US drives every day so. Right and, and the nice thing about this is, is because it looks better and it's bigger it makes you feel a little bit safer inside Yeah uh, and I think just the vehicle overall, I mean, I like little things in the sport package that we have in ours. The 16 inch wheels, which I find absolutely adorable. <laughs> but it's got a nice thick leather oh, yeah. steering wheel. As I wheel. said, all the materials, for it, whatever you touch and whatever you see, right. it's like, even this is plastic, but it has uh, some texture to it. Right. And like, it feels good. And I wish it had a little more storage. The center, the center armrest has no storage. There's a little teeny glove box. There's some storage in the doors. And there's a little tray in front of me. But that's, that's it. Well, maybe it. we can buy a Sprinter to store the car in the Sprinter. You probably could. <laughs> that would be totally awesome. I would be in for that. But I think if you're, if you're in need of a vehicle, maybe you're a student, this might be the answer. Yeah, Because exactly. I guarantee those colleges are going to have free charging. Where nowadays Absolutely. they charge everywhere. So again, it's a very specific use, or not such a specific, but it's like, like, like you said, going to school, go to work nearby. Golf car communities. Golf car communities, like run your errands here, here and there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you at least have to try it. If you know that you're not gonna drive more than 60 miles, you're going consecutive on a trip, hours, I guess, trip to something. grandma's house for, exactly. for Thanksgiving, uh, you probably better plan out your charging station. Unless you have a high-tech grandma and have like a fast charging <laughs> station at home. Most grandmas aren't high-tech. <laughs> anyway, so Most. we're gonna keep driving here in San Diego enjoying uh, this fabulous weather before we go back to the cold. Yeah, I mean this is, yeah, I'm really not looking forward to the cold. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really impressed with the car and the changes they've made over 10 years. It's just a big difference. We'll see how the uh, the sale of the EV only goes. We'll see. And, and uh, it should be very yeah. interesting because some of the gas-powered ones were getting amazing fuel economy. Thanks. Well, Lauren, thank you very much. <laughs>